Hey guys, today I'm going to look at one of the best recent buys you could have made. And this was the dual deck, Is It vs. Gogari. Now the dual deck was available everywhere from local game stores to online. I saw it when it first came out at $14.99 online. And you could got, have gotten it at Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Target, pretty much everywhere. Uh, this was a dual deck that was not did not receive very much hype and it was because life from the loam wasn't that great when it came out it wasn't that expensive and a lot of these other cards were just kind of met when it first came out it didn't come out with two planeswalkers it didn't come out with a lot a fanfare but it turned out to be one of the best buys you could have made recently so let's talk about it. You got Niz Mizzet, the Fire Mind, which is from RTR. Uh, not very many products in RTR have gone up in price. Uh, RTR boxes, you can still get them for $80, which is very co close to what stores pay distributors, which is $76.50. You do have a range, but that's what my local game store pays to get a booster box. I heard the price might be going up sometime soon, but that's the current price. You have a lot of, it's kind of like the dredge part of the deck went up a ton. The is it part of the deck is still very, very bad. So even the land, even the dredging land is now $2. You can see the spike. The spike is strictly due to modern playability of dreads now they did hit the gogari grave troll so you lost a lot of value there but life from the loam kind of recovered the value overall this was a fantastic buy that you could have picked up any number of these for under twenty dollars eighteen dollars at my local game store i remember seeing them at and they sat there for some time as you can see even during over the gate watch, there was not much interest in these cards. They all spike at the same time, at least the dredge ones. Battle for Zendikar. Uh, this one is, you know, this card spiked around Battle for Zendikar. During the Adrazi block, that was when Modern was probably one of the most popular uh, formats at the time, meaning that a lot of people were into Modern. It had a much larger play base than I believe it has today in terms of excitement. And this became, it became something that you wanted to do. It became something that you wanted to play. So if you had split the deck and you paid $10 and you got the dreads deck, you would have made out like a bandit. Cause the is it deck while okay, we're only going to really see a few cards. Ms. Miz at two. And then the next card scepter at what is scepter at? three dollars and 52 cents and going down why did they go down well they reorganized or they restructured what a fuse card would be so those interesting cards breaking and entering beck and call no longer interact as well with the scepter and it's more it's kind of a mech card still very strong i love putting you know a counter spell on the scepter that's one of my favorite things to do uh, and it's uh, it's an excellent card. Lightning Bolt on Scepter is also fine. Or Lightning Helix would be a lot better, actually. Overall, good card. Uh, definitely a very strong card and tradable. Tradable is always important. Uh, next, we go to Gogari Grave Troll, which at one time was a $15 card. Uh, we know what happened. It got banned in Modern, and the Dredge deck took a hit. But during RTR, so this deck, Is It vs. Gogari, is an RTR type of deck. RTR, then we have the, looks like Modern Masters, and then we have a whole nother block, and then we have Concha Tarkir. This card was incredibly cheap, and you could still find these dual decks everywhere. Because no one wanted them. That was around 2015. Now, if you sat on it for about two and a half years, this would have been a fantastic, 
very few products you can actually open and get your value back and get more than your value and very few products that value is concentrated in just one or two cards and that's what I like about this. You have Eternal Witness, always a great card at $5.59. The Golgari part of this deck was just fantastic in terms of value. One of the greatest buys. I mean, there's not much. Yeah, I've been on a record for saying Amarkat is meh. I don't think Amarkat's going to hold value, like especially boxes of it. I don't think Aether Revolt will hold that much value. Maybe because of Fatal Push, but other than that... The Kaladas is interesting. I do like Kaladas, but maybe not right now. And definitely Battle for Zendikar, Oath of the Gatewatts, Eldritch Moon, Shadows over Innistrad. They're just kind of okay to me. The newest one, Amaket, Our Devastation, that's not a uh, power level. I just don't like it. Now, you might ask, huh, what, what happened with this card? How come this card is more expensive than Golgari Grave Troll? Well, it didn't used to be. But they banned Golgari Grave Troll, and this is actually a different artwork than the regular bug. And it's good. I mean, it's Dredge 4. It's not Dredge 5, but it's close. It's close. So if you added this card, Eternal Witness, and then so the top three cards for all of them, the Golgari uh, deck. You added this one, then you added the Eternal Witness. That's about 12 bucks right there. Then you add the Life from the Loam at 17 Let's call it $30. That's very good value. Uh, that is free cards out of 120 making up more 50% more than the value of it. So if you could buy list it, let's say, for half, which is generous, but it's I think it's doable because Life from the Loam is a high-in-demand card. You're looking at $15 from just free cards and $5 for the rest of the 117 cards. That is the definition of a really, really good buy. But it wasn't always, I mean, this was crazy. As you can see from the Life of the Loan price, it actually dropped. So it was around $10. I think the dual deck came out. It dropped to like, it's like $2 almost. Wow. Which makes sense because it was this was a mass produced card, so from two dollars it went up to seventeen, and that is where the value of this came from. I mean, it came from one card. So, is it possible for one card to have the entire burden of a set? Yes, and that is what you can bet on. I, I think Life from the Loam is just fantastic as a card, and I don't. Unless there is a new reprint, I just don't see it going down that much. Maybe 15, but right now it's a very popular card in EDH as well. It's always been a popular card. My gut feeling is that it will continue to stabilize. It will stabilize at 15 and then steadily go up in price, barring the reprint. Anyway, bye guys.